I just, I want to be held in a way that's containing but also freeing. I want to be held in the centre of a roaring gale. I want to be touched by the wind. Okay, I, I want to do that. I just, yeah. I'm so tired of feeling the wind on the outside of my body. I want to feel the wind inside me. I want to make love to the wind but I want it to feel like we haven't known each other for a very long time I guess I want it to feel like the wind is fucking me I I want to be fucked by the wind mm. Mm. and babe I want you to be there too. I want I want you to watch. Okay. Yeah. I I want that for you too. I want to do that for you. <laughs> yes. I feel like we've made a real breakthrough. When you first came here, you were both full of fear. Fear that the person you love would misunderstand you. They wouldn't see the real you. But here you are, revealing the deepest parts of yourselves. I'm so proud of you. You're our hero, Doctor. <laughs> no, please. I'm reluctant to be called a hero. You see, love doesn't always follow a script. But if it did, say, in a classic romantic comedy, I would have a few script notes. You know that feeling when you first fall in love with someone? You're hot and your stomach feels like it's full of bees. You wake up and there's someone in your bed and for once, you don't want them to leave. I'll be honest, facing your fears doesn't always cure them. My biggest fear was opening myself up to someone and then them breaking my heart. And I did open myself up to someone and they did break my heart. So I shouldn't be afraid of it anymore, but I am. Maybe you never get used to heartbreak. Maybe it's not really worth it. But if you're not open with yourself, if you're not open about the dark parts of you, the parts that want to fuck the wind, then you'll never fuck the wind.